Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 4 of my New Orleans Pelicans My GM series. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, my friends, for more NBA 2K16 videos. And yo, uh, a little while ago I tried I tried out that uh, simulate with SimCast Live. Like I did it for this Portland game, and I was recording it, and dude, it was stupid. It was just it was kind of a waste of time. Um, it's like because when you simulate with SimCast, the game goes quicker, you can sim games a lot quicker and still see stats and what. This was like playing the basketball game without actually playing the basketball game. You like watch these guys run up like these circles and it was like the players faces and they were like running up and down the court. It was just stupid. And I was like, I'm not going to show this to my subscribers guys. Like they don't want to see this. I mean, I didn't want to see it. I thought it was boring. But anyway, we ended up losing that game. We lost to the damn Portland Trailblazers. We are 0-2. Our chemistry is at 34%. We're on a two game losing streak to start the season. And uh, let's check out these scores here. Like Damian Lillard getting buckets on us you know whenever you play the trailblazers all you have to do is play defense on lillard that's like you, you had one job guys you had one job and anthony davis did all right for us uh, ryan anderson got some points do the greek freak one for five shooting yeah it might be time for him to go it, it might be time for him to go already i think i'm gonna do that I, let, let's take a look at some trades and stuff for him because uh let's go where, where are the where are the stats at player stats here we go oh god oh, whoa 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 all right, pinch nerve. Okay, I remember that actually happened in the first episode. I forgot the forgot to say anything, but it was just a pinch nerve by Anthony Davis, so he's fine. Uh, Andre Drummond doing all right for us too, but yo, Greek freak, five points, and we scored a lot of those in the first game. So we're getting some rebounds, we're getting a few assists, doing all right out there. Only shooting thirty percent field goal percentage, shooting zero percent from three. Like you need to be able to shoot the three if you're on a team with Andre Drummond and Anthony Davis. It's just fact of the matter. And uh, Chris Middleton not doing much better. Like, he's only shooting 28%. So, I might actually shop both those guys. We still have Omar Ashik. So, we might actually be able to put together a nice package to get that third 80 overall player, which is what we need to build a big three. So, uh, just, or Justin Holiday, or not, not Justin Holiday, that's the dude on the Warriors. Uh, Drew Holiday. Uh, I mean, like I said, it's only been two games. So, maybe we shouldn't really overreact too much. But just after playing that first game, I really just felt. The chemistry just was not there. We're on a two-game losing streak, so I'm not going to freaking deal with that this early in the season. Like, hell no, baby. Uh, here we go. Let's give up. Because really, Joni Meeks could start at small. Or not Joni Meeks. Uh, Nick Young could start at small forward. And I'd be, I'd be fine for that. So if we could get like a good shooting guard, uh, I would definitely you know consider that trade. So let's give up Greek Freak and Middleton. See what we can get back. Probably not much, to be honest, because... Uh, Middleton has a pretty heavy contract, so that was kind of stupid to even take that out in the first place. All right, Carl Laundry, Dirty Laundry, uh, Kendall Marshall. Oh, that's not bad, I guess. OJ Mayo. Nope, not feeling that. Oh, oh that's, you know, we already got Anthony Davis. That's not a bad trade. I would, I probably would have done that. Isaiah Thomas. Okay, Jamal Crawford, Lance Stevenson, Kendall Walker, uh, Michael Kidd, Giltris, Robin Lopez, Sasha. Do the machines back in the league, Sasha? Okay. Victor Oladipo, hmm, something to think about, Darren Williams, Chandler Parsons, Danilo Gallinari, Nick Young, Reggie Jackson, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Damari Carroll, Kevin Martin, Ricky Rubio, Myers Leonard, okay, so we got some good, some pretty good trade offers like there, I uh, probably said I like the Victor Oladipo, oh, and Tobias, I love Tobias Harris to be honest, so that might actually be in the move, uh, but I kind of want to see what other individual trades we can get just for like the Greek Freak by himself. He's only 20 years old. He's 78 overall, so let's see what we can get here. Let's see, nothing nothing really too great. Paul Pierce, we can bring him back for a year. Luol Deng would be all right. He can kind of shoot. He can kind of up there in age himself, though. Um, Yeah, not really not really seeing anything. Devin Booker, that dude's supposed to be able to bust some threes. I do know that much. Harrison, ooh, Harrison Barnes, I did want him a lot, too. Yeah, we can actually do that trade. And it wouldn't be like a ridiculous thing. Like it wouldn't be like a, this huge shakeup that would take everybody off. Like oh my god, Crispy, you're just killing the series because you are trading away every, every person. Um, let's do this trade. Let's bring in Harrison Barnes. Wait, let's trade all the stats first. Like we don't want to jump into nothing. Let's get to know him a little bit first. He's got an 84 standing shot three, so that's nice. Midi is all right. Midi he hit that mid range shot. It's about the same as the Greek freaks. I do like that 84 standing three though. That was looking pretty nice. Uh, standing or driving dunk. It's only an 81. Dude, I, dude, Harrison Barnes can throw down, so I don't know what that's all about. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling this trade. I'm feeling that's a nice little switch up. A guy that can shoot. He's only a two-star. Uh, we also get Barbosa. So, 
Let's uh, see what else we got here. Just just to be sure, though. Right, guys? Like, like I said, we don't want to jump into nothing. Okay, uh, well, oh, my bad. My bad. So, what about just for Middleton? What can we get for this guy? Like I said, that contract is pretty pretty large there. Nikolo Miritich. That'd be a... Oh, we already got Ryan Anderson, so we don't really need another stretch for... Kyle Korver, I was thinking about this trade. I might actually do this trade. He has 30... Because we get rid of a huge, ridiculous contract. Tiago Splitter is outright, so we could actually... Trade him for probably some draft picks or something. Kemba Walker, Alec Burks, Aaron Flawla. I do like his game a lot too. Mario heads head zone jug. I've heard some things about this guy. What's his, what's his stats looking like, dude? I might bring I might be I might bring this rookie in, dude. I like Mario heads zone jug. Like this dude is supposed to be like he's supposed to be like the European J.R. Smith. He's got wow, 85 driving dunk. He can shoot too, and we could develop him. He's only 20 years old, so. Dude, I'm bringing I'm bringing a Mario. I'm bringing a Super Mario, man. Dude, I'm trying this. I'm, I'm doing this trade. I'm trying to try this guy out. We got to see what this is all about. And we get Channing Fry, who is decent. So, all right. So, we get rid of Chris Middleton's ridiculous $57 million contract. And we replace him with a 20-year-old rookie who's on his rookie deal, of course. So, not bad. And we get also get Channing Fry, who is a serviceable big man. He, he can do some things out there. All right. We'll have Coach Hane to laugh for now. So, we still need to get rid of uh, the Greek Freak. And I'm really thinking the Harrison Barnes trade is the way to go. But we got some more trade pieces right now. So let's uh, let's see what we can get for him. And we might as well just throw in Channing Fry because we're not really going to use him at all. See what we get here. Uh, Todd Gibson, Jamal Crawford. So we need a, we still need a small forward. Although I think I think that Mario Hazonja could play small forward if needed. Rudy Gay. That's, what's, what's he looking like here? Okay, he's, wow, and he's 83 overall, so that would actually build our big three for us. He's got good shooting stats. What's his dunking looking like? He's, he's still, he, okay, he can still dunk. He can still throw down. He's only 29 years old, so he's still in his prime a bit. I might do that one. Yeah, I, th I think I'm, I think I'm going to bring him in, guys. Harrison Barnes is still a solid pickup, but this would complete our big three for us. It would give us something to build off, you know, going into the season and whatnot. So, yo, we gotta bring in Rudy Gay. Gotta see what this guy's all about. I mean, I, I like Rudy Gay. Like, he's a, he's a good player. Uh, he kind of gets a bad rep, but, yo, ooh, oh, well, level three, level three. What do we get? Owner's trust, plus five percent. Player loyalty, fatigue reduction, price changes, extra scouting report, and player morale. So, level four. Damn, we making moves out here. <laughs> all right, they agreed to our offer. That's that's a good pickup right there, and it gives me more confidence going into our games. And so. Yo, I think next episode we're probably gonna simulate some games though, um, because the next one, the next game is against the Golden State Warriors. I really don't want to do a full game against the same team again. Actually, wait, one, one, one second here, one second here. All right, fans love the acquisition, so he's gonna be a good start. He's not a team leader. That's Anthony Davis, so don't get too pissy about that, Gay. <laughs> you gotta realize that, okay, Gay? All right, so let's uh let's go ahead and simulate a game real quick. We'll simulate. Here, we'll, we'll just do it this way. We'll just uh, quickly simulate them. Oh, my God. We got blown out. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. And I want to simulate against the Magic. Dude, we got some work to do. All you guys are saying that, like, because there's a few of you guys in the comments saying, man, Chris, we stacking the team with, uh, you know, doing these trades. It's, it's not stacking a team. I'll tell you that much because we're getting killed. I'll decline that trade real quick here. We got a lot of building to do, guys. Anthony Davis is young, thank God, but we have some building to do on this team. It's by no means a one-and-done season where we're going to win a championship. This is going to take some time. Cool. Oh, wait, what's this? Here are a lot of cool new features in my GM this year. That's what team team building, team location, staff carousel. Uh, all right, I'm going to check some of this stuff out. Oh, Summer League. That's pretty cool. I'm going to check some of this stuff out on my own time, though, guys, so you guys don't got to sit there and read through all that stuff. Nobody likes to read, right? Nobody likes to read anymore. Who does that? Um, okay, so we did get our first W against the Orlando Magic, but next episode is going to be another full-on gameplay, guys. I got to try these guys out. We are going to go go up against the Atlanta Hawks, who, of course, were like the beasts of the East last season, so that's going to be a fun game to do. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the series. We are currently 1-3, but trust me, it's early in the season. We got much more basketball to be played. Peace out, my friends.